guys, this is going to be a new series that will involve the crew. This is going to be where I create a quest for the crew to go on and uh, we basically record them uh, playing the quest and, and trying to solve it. I've mentioned this to you guys in a previous video and I've gotten a lot of suggestions um, and I would love to see more. If you have ideas for a quest, be it locations you've seen us go to in the game that you think would be good to hide a clue or you know something related to the world that's fine or if you just have a story that you think would be cool to set up a quest uh, or any thoughts on how I'm doing this and a better way to implement it you know just send me a private message don't post these uh, in the uh, public forums where the chat goes on because the girls do read that and I don't want them to actually see anything that we might actually do I want it to be as new to them as possible so I'm gonna come out here I've got monsters turned off on the server right now. Um, let me close the door. So you'll see out here in the middle of our village, I went ahead and put some signs up. Uh, if you guys can think of a better way to do this, uh, eventually I want to load one of the uh, new mods from the bucket server mod uh, that lets me have uh, non-player characters and some other features that might make being kind of a a dungeon master, if you will, that goes along with them and helps them on their quest uh, and records it. But here's the uh, the uh, basically the initial hints that set up the story. Please help our town. We know you are a brave crew. Our town is being raided by monsters every night. A small payment is in this chest for each of you. Stop the evil from raiding our town, and you can have everything they have taken from us. Just please stop them. To protect our town, we are using clues for the quest. Your first clue is found up where water drops. So, as you can see, this you know is the initial little story: town being raided by monsters. Please help us, you know, save us, you brave adventurers. So your standard fare thing. Here in the chest, I put a couple pieces of iron and a leather uh, armor for each of them. I also put one in here for me, just because they always complain that I don't take part in it. Obviously, I know how to do this quest, but I did that. So the clue is, your first clue is found up where water drops. So I wanted this to be a waterfall. And if you remember Waterfall Mountain, we actually had a, um, you know, an episode where we just went there. I think it was episode 15. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and uh, head on over to Waterfall Mountain. I'll probably edit uh, some of this journey out. Alright, so I'm over here at Waterfall Mountain and actually um, during one of the episodes uh, unless it didn't make the cut, Lizzie had actually plugged this waterfall so I had to actually recreate it. But if we look around here, if they use their eagle eyes and if they look really far up here on the waterfall right up near the top of the waterfall you may not be able to see it in this video and I apologize if you can't there's a couple signs so what we'll do real quick is we will just go ahead and build up a dirt wall here to us you can see the signs there let me Go ahead here and we'll try to squeeze in so you can see it. Alright, so it says here look for a ledge hanging out over the ground for your next clue. So let's go ahead and head back down. Maybe knock a few of these out of the way. Maybe it makes it a little easier to see. come on back down. Let's see if we cleaned it up a little bit there. So it is very possible to see the sign. So the next clue was look for a ledge. And if you come over here and if they're smart enough, or I may have to give them simple hints, there we see a kind of a ledge. And that's a nat natural formation. I did not create that. 
Uh, so what we'll do is we'll look here for the shadow and um, see where the shadow goes. Looks like there's a shadow right there. So let's go ahead and build ourselves up. And we'll go up here to this ledge. And then you can see here, an arrow will point your way to the monsters. Are your eyes good enough to see it? So I'm hoping they'll look around, but if you look way out in the distance, right there in the center of my screen, is a white arrow that I did out of sheep wool, pointing the way. So let's go ahead and, and head on down. And I'm going to probably zip through this for you and jump over to where the arrow is. All right. So here you can see our arrow. Now it's pointing, it's a very hideous looking arrow and I apologize, but it's pointing over that way in a sense we'll say towards that tree, probably a little bit right. You can also see we have a graphical glitch here in the game. Um, hopefully that doesn't occur while they're playing. But let's run around this edge. And you can see there's another one, another glitch. But if we keep running the way the sign points, you can see our arrows over there. Here is a couple torches with a white spot. Now, basically what this is, is if they come over here and they start to dig down. When they reach the bottom here, which is not too deep. Alright, here is a cave system. Now if they follow this cave system, it's a very small one. Most of this I had to dig out myself. Um, and if they find it, there's a torch here. You know, they can actually go further back and it's pretty much just doesn't go very far and it's a dead end. But if we come down here, here we see we've reached another cave system. And ultimately, we have found a monster spawner. Now let me go ahead and put a torch up here. So you can see I put chests with all three of their names on it. Two of these chests were already here. And inside each chest, I put 12 iron ingots, an iron sword, and a saddle, because the saddles were already here. So each kid will get the same thing. Didn't put one for myself, but I didn't have enough iron and everything else to do it. So I'm going to turn off this torch, and obviously the monsters will be on when we do this quest, so they are going to have to find um, find their way over to that. I'm going to get rid of some of these torches because I don't want them coming into an already, already lit area. Um, Now I have to decide how I want to fill this. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead. Oh, let's go ahead and kill. Let's put a brick block right there. All right. We'll turn off that torch. And we'll keep coming. We'll turn off that torch. And then here's our exit. So, what I may go ahead and do here is we'll put Let's see if I can get rid of these and that way they see a drop. All right. And I 
think those will disappear. And we'll just leave the one wool block right there. And we will kill these torches. Maybe we'll put one torch right there. All right, so basically, you know, they're going to find the town, they're going to see the clues, they're going to go to Waterfall Mountain, hopefully, find those clues to take them to the ledge, which points them to the arrow, which brings them to this point. They dig down, fight the monsters, hopefully they'll do it, versus having to have me fight them, find the treasure, and they'll be all happy, and then they'll be wanting another quest as soon as they finish this one. Um, hopefully I'll have, to, I'll have to give minimal clues to them and, and minimal help. So that's uh, basically it. Now, a couple questions I have for you guys, besides obviously, as I said at the beginning, if you have any suggestions for where to put clues, what kind of clues, a storyline. Um, what I want to know is, do you want to see these videos uh, before the quest where it shows me making the quest like I just did and, and showing you, you guys basically what they're going to do? Or would you rather just see them do the quest and uh, not see see the setup? So let, let me know on that. And um, also, one other thing is uh, somebody had suggested on these quests if they could create their own you know quest completely. And what they meant by that is basically go into their single player world, or create a single player world, say, or maybe it's an existing world they already have in single player or multiplayer and uh, set up a quest like I just did and then send me a, an archive, a zip file or put it on the internet somewhere of that quest and then I load that world into here let the girls play it and um, you know record it to post and that would be great I mean the girls would love that and if you guys are as creative as it seems like you are I'm sure you guys can come up with a lot of great ideas. Uh, so if you guys want to do that, feel free to. If you're not sure about how to back up a world uh, to archive or whatever, let me know. I do have a new video I'm going to be putting up that shows how to back up your your uh, single player worlds. If you're running a server, you probably already know you know how to do this. But I can take a single player world and actually bring it into multiplayer. It's it's the same same world files. So if you've created something that would you think would be a great uh, quest for the girls to do and you want to set it up yourself, send it to me. Um, like I said, you can, you can put it on your website if you have one, put it on one of the file sharing sites, um, you know, zip it up obviously or, or RAR or um, gzip it, you know, whatever you prefer. Uh, I would like to note that if you do do that, um, any information you can send me like in a text file that tells me the quest and kind of gives me an overview so that um, I can help them. I don't mind if you don't want to give the clues to me uh, but if the girls do get stuck and it's really hard and I can't figure it out then it would be kind of a bust and we probably wouldn't put the video up. So unless it's straightforward enough that I'll be able to solve it regardless send me some information. Just remember the uh, girls you're doing this for are, are young. I mean, you know, they're uh, first and second graders. So they're not going to be able to solve complicated riddles or quests. And also, since they're kids, please don't put anything vulgar or, or make anything um, that would be inappropriate for them. So, but if you want to do something like that and you're going to spend that kind of time, I mean, the girls would love to play the quest. Uh, so, like I said, we'll take suggestions, we'll take. Um, pre-made worlds with quests already in them whatever you know and if you guys like this we'll keep doing quests as much as we can and um, you know stay tuned the next episode in this series will be the girls trying to do this quest we'll see if they can solve it and if they stay alive see you guys soon